is the secretary bird. Is the secretary bird. Is the secretary bird. The secretary bird doesn't have to look for prey from the air. It can hunt it down on the ground. Its legs are feathered halfway down, but the lower legs are covered in scales which protect the bird from snake bites. It has a face like an eagle, and it uses its incredible eyesight to spot its prey. But its feet and talons are its most important weapons. During an attack, they use their wings for balance and to ward off strikes. while they stamp their back claw like a stiletto into the base of the snake's skull. The grasslands are so full of things to eat that this bird of prey doesn't even have to take to the air to find a good meal. This landscape is not as empty as it seems. As night falls, one of the world's stealthiest hunters begins its work. To many, leopards are the ultimate symbol of strength because of their tenacity and power. They are master stalkers, creeping up to their prey under cover of darkness on massive paws. Their superb camouflage means they can get very close before their final attack. see well in the dark, but although they're good at seeing in low light, they don't have good color vision. They mainly see in blue and green. Cats have other adaptations helping them see at night. Their pupils allow three times as much light into the eye as ours, and they have a disc at the back of the eye which sends light back through the eye to be processed again. This is what we would see at night. But this is a glimpse of how a leopard might see when the nighttime grassland teems with life. We have to use special equipment to film at night. But a leopard is perfectly at home in the dark. They don't just rely on their amazing night vision. They also have a highly developed sense of smell, which picks up scents on the air. The leopard hunts by ambushing its prey, stalking up as close as possible before beginning its run. Once again, with jaws clamped to the throat, the windpipe is crushed, and another big cat has made its kill. But it's what it does with its kills that makes a leopard unique. Hunting alone means that there's a real risk that scavengers like hyenas will steal hard-won prey. The leopard's enormous muscle power means they're built for climbing, so they can wedge the kill in a tree, well out of reach of thieves. They'll often disembowel their kill. This makes it lighter to carry. They have extraordinarily strong neck muscles, 
which allow them to carry a carcass up to three tons heavier than themselves. Hyenas quickly pick up the signs of a kill, so the leopard has to work fast. Hyenas are the pirates of the plains, roaming the grasslands, always ready to make off with another creature's spoils. But hyenas can't climb trees, and another leopard seems to have judged exactly how high to store its kill. Leopards will often keep a stash of food for a couple of days, returning to eat it at their leisure. Unlike those big cats which share their kills, the leopard, because it's a solitary hunter, always gets the lion's share. Still to come on Built for the Kill, we'll hear about other ways predators are adapted to this challenging environment. We examine what makes the cheetah the fastest animal on land, and witness a different kind of battle royal at a termite mound. Oh, wow.